Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Sega Genesis Blast M emulator, which will allow you to play Sega Genesis games on your Windows machine. You can do some Mac and Linux. I'll have separate videos covering that as well. So to do this, it's really simple. I just want to say this video is not condoning privacy. It is for educational purposes only. So first of all, actually, I've already got the browser open here. Drag it on. Okay, first of all, just Google Blast M. I'll provide a link to everything anyway in the description. And let's go to this website, Retro Dev. Scroll down. After the screenshots, you can download it. If you want to go to the download section, there's a nightly build which gives you the latest features, but again, may not be stable. Okay, so you want Windows? It starts downloading really quick. Now, let me show you where to get games from. If we go to vim.net, and again, I want to reiterate, I'm not condoning piracy. The game I, you know, will be trying, I own. You know, I have an original Sega Genesis system. I'm just making it so easy, easy for you to get hold of the ROMs. But again, I want to reiterate that. Make sure, you know, you have them all legitimately as well. Then just go to the vault. Go to Genesis. And my game is NBA Jam. And if they're the different versions, you can click a drop down and select it, click download, super fast to download. And once it actually goes here, hmm, apparently I'm already. I'll cancel the other one. Strange. Let's click it again. There we go. And now let's give this an open. So open this. Now just extract it, extract all. You can use another extracting tool like 7-Zip or WinRAR if you want to. Do the same with your game. And now open up the emulator. Just this blastm.exe. And it is a very simple emulator, not much to it. Go to settings, in key bindings you can map your controls. We scroll down and if, if scrolling here doesn't work properly, Fine, if you go over here, it works a lot better, or if you just use the, the actual scroll bar to drag it throughout the page. There's controller 2, there's some, you know, hotkeys, general sort of emulator keys that you can map, speed control as well, and some debug stuff. Main one is going to be this. So you just press a key, press, let's say, I, it maps it. If I press left, it unmaps the other key that's got the same mapping, so you can't have the mapping twice, for example and up left this might be slightly different to you i've already mapped it so it's you know it's picked up my settings so yeah that's it and you just go to back there's controllers if you have a controller connected i'll create a separate video to connect controllers like xbox and playstation controllers onto it so feel free to check that out in video go full screen open gl recommend having that on vsync uh, on if you want, on, tear if late. <laughs> I think on is or off is fine. Obviously, just helps prevent tearing. And window width as well. I'll leave as is, but you can change that. You can change the shader as well and put an over scan. And in audio, there's a few settings, but the settings you're probably going to leave as is. And now go to back and click load ROM. As you can see, searching through this can be probably a bit rudimentary. Luckily, you can just drag and drop your ROM on. So if you go to where the ROM is, drag it on. Boom, there we go. It's going to start loading now. And here we go. I'll just get into the game, but that's it. You're all set up. <laughs> Not the best at this game. Pretty bad, to be, to be fair. Apparently he's on fire. Let's have a quick go. So I'm moving the character around. Ah, uh, that was terrible. So yeah, if you press escape, it will pause the ROM. You can go resume. 
load another ROM, I can drag and drop pod, I can lock on, I can do save and load state. So this is a cool thing. So you can save state, save state, let's say if I use, uh, yeah, let's click save. Now if I shut the emulator down, open it back up, run the ROM, It will start from the start. Before I press escape, load state, click that state, and I click load. There we go. It loads exactly from where we left off. So that is a great feature with emulators. You can save and load states. That's it for the Sega Genesis Blaster emulator. Simple stuff. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop it in Discord. There's a link in the description, along with many emulation channels, including one for Blaster. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying the content and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.